guys, it's Megan. Happy Halloween. Get it? Halloween! Okay, it is Halloween today when I'm filming, but when you see this, it'll be a few days after Halloween. But I hope you guys had an awesome Halloween weekend. It was perfect because it was on a Saturday this year. And um, I'm going to a Halloween party tonight, and I'm really excited because the only idea that I had was to be a basic bitch because it's really easy because <laughs> I basically had everything. So am I a basic bitch? I don't know. But then I had this brilliant idea this morning that I'm going to be an undead basic bitch. So I'm going to do like vam not vampire, like zombie makeup and stuff. And I have this shirt, which is one of the things for my haul from Pink Victoria's Secret that says basic witches. And it's like a tank, but I just put on a long sleeve shirt because it's like freezing. But yeah, that's what I'm being for Halloween. So let me know what you guys were for Halloween. I would love to hear all your creative ideas because literally I'm not creative when it comes to Halloween. Like I never really was and I don't think I ever will be. So that's why I'm just being something really easy. But I'm excited about my makeup and I think I'm going to do a get ready with me that I will film for you guys. Okay. So since I talked about the shirt from Pink, I also want to show you this really, really cute sleep shirt. And it has my hair on it because I've been wearing it. But um, I love their sleep shirts at Victoria's Secret. And this one says, but first pancakes. And it's just like a t-shirt um, sleep shirt. And it's like three quarter length sleeve, a little bit shorter than that. It's super soft. It's a really cute style. And I just love the saying. So this was like 20 some dollars, which I don't think is bad. It's really, really nice. And um, this shirt was only $10, the basic witches. So that's why I got it. But yeah, check out Victoria's Secret Pink right now because they have some really cute stuff. And they're doing that like thing where you get a coupon that in December, you they scan it and you either get 10 up to $500 off and one year I got a $50 like free $50 that was amazing so um definitely check out pink right now and it's just really cute so as we are starting off you can tell that this is a random haul I have a huge basket or like a box of stuff and then I have stuff over here it is so random. It's not just beauty. There is a lot of beauty. And this is all stuff that I bought before. I was like, whoa, Megan, slow down. So this is going to be one of the last hauls for a while. Of course, it's like the holidays coming up. So Black Friday, of course, I'll be shopping and then Christmas. But this is like, yeah, we did the damage we needed to. And now let's just rein it in. So like I said, there's so much random stuff. So let's just get into it. This is staring at me, and this is something very important to me. These are Hanes men's v-neck undershirts. Tagless. I get the medium. These are the most comfortable t-shirts in the entire world. My sister bought some, and I was like, oh my god, like, where'd you get that shirt? And she was like, it's a men's undershirt. And I was like, stop. So I stole one of hers that was just white, and then this one has um, white, gray, and black and they are perfect this set i don't know how much it was to be honest i got it at target and they are absolutely perfect if you love v-neck so definitely check these out and they're way less expensive than buying like three separate shirts and it's not like they're sheer or anything so you can wear them just as normal shirts amazing definitely definitely recommend those um, Bath and Body Works last week, I believe, was having a buy one get one free through three wick candle sale, which was nuts. And then they had a 25% coupon that you could stack on top of that deal. So I got two, one staple candle, which is their marshmallow fireside. I haven't had this in a while because there's one at Walmart called like fireside s'mores or something like that that smells exactly like this, but I cannot find it at my Walmart. So I was like panicking a little bit and then when I saw they had the sale I decided to get one because why not so I got that and then this one I've been hearing a little bit of buzz about and it's an online exclusive it's called radiant red maple and it says that it has notes of apple smoky woods and a hint of toasted marshmallow so that just sounded really great and it's very very delicious you can definitely get that like sweetness of the apple it kind of has like a syrupy type scent to it. Oh, it's just delicious. So it's kind of like the Fireside Mart Fireside S'mores or what is this called? 
<laughs> marshmallow fireside, but mix in with some apple. So these are the only two I got. I was being very, very good. And so I got two for like $22.50, which is really not that bad. So, well, now that Bath & Body Works doesn't do <laughs> such cheap candles as they did before, but love those. And I'm so excited to have one of my favorites and then one new one to try out. Okay, I'm just gonna keep going on this pile before we get into that box. So, um, a skincare company that I just, like, saw and just started to, like, learn about is called Eminence. And I ordered it from a company called Natural Beauty Group. And they send this giant pamphlet. Like this is the biggest pamphlet I have ever seen in my life going over every single product, what it's good for. It's incredible. Their line is extremely extensive. And I saw this company first when I was looking at Derm Store, which I have Derm Store stuff that I'll be showing you guys. Um, they had this brand, one of the products that immediately caught my eye was this pumpkin yam enzyme peel. Literally, that just sounded amazing to me. So I started researching this brand. All of their products are like fruit and vegetables. Like that is what is the main ingredients. There's no water added to any of their products. It's like super, super, super incredible. And there's so much to read about. I really haven't read all of this like I haven't even tried because there's just so much but they help you find your skin type what products would be good for you and so what I thought was cool at this natural beauty group this is their um website they exclusively sell this brand it's not like they sell other brands and um, you can buy this brand at a bunch of different places. This is also a spa line. So some spas are Eminence spas and it's uh, made in Hungary. But anyway, this um, natural beauty group, they sell all of the Eminence products in sample sizes. So I bought a ton. I put it in this um, jar thing that I got at Target a while ago. There is another one that goes on the bottom, but these are the only two I need. So I split it up between like masks and then moisturizers. I've been really trying to find a moisturizer that I love and I thought that it would be really fun to try out some of these. So uh, they have so many, like I said, I got a few of like the ones that were really interesting to me. Mango night cream, sour cherry whipped moisturizer, sugar plum whip moisturizer i've been trying this so they come in these individual little things i've used um one of these up the sugar plum it's really nice this is a holiday exclusive and it lasted me about three nights in this little container they all smell amazing good enough to eat apricot whip i bought like a few of like multiples of each so i can really try it and these are really nice they come with a seal on it. Well, this one just fell off, but that's like the color of the sugar plum. It's so pretty, it smells amazing. And so if you find that they're too moisturizing, since none of these have water added to them, you can add a little droplet of water and then put it on your face. They have not irritated my skin, at least the ones that I've tried so far. They're awesome. And then I got a bunch of the different masks and treatments that they have. So there's a chocolate mousse hydration mask that literally smells just like chocolate. The one that originally caught my eye was the yam and pumpkin enzyme peel. This literally smells just like a pumpkin pie. Like I wanted to lick this off my face. It was delicious smelling and it was really, really nice on the skin. More of the chocolate ones. Oh, and then this one was cool. Um, pumpkin latte hydration mask. I just thought that was awesome. And then they sent samples with it as well. And so all of this, I had a coupon, I believe it was like $50 for all these samples, which seems like a lot, but this is a high-end, really natural, amazing ingredient skincare line. And they sent a few samples, but this was the most amazing. This is the sour cherry mask. And look at the size of this. Like, this is the sample size, and then this is the size they sent me for free. This says travel size. So I have not tried this yet, and so it has like a seal, which is really great. But I have just been enjoying researching a new brand, getting excited about a new brand, and it just seems so incredible to me. So um, 
I'll test all these out. You'll see them in my empties or in favorites videos, but definitely check out this brand if you're into more natural products, if you want something that is totally unlike anything I've heard of, only fruit and vegetable ingredients. It's incredible to read their ingredient list. So really, really cool. I'm super excited as you guys can tell, and I can't wait to try out more of their stuff. A another skin and body care brand which one of my subscribers she is a rep for it's called um, perfectly posh and you guys might have heard of this company before because I had heard of it but never had purchased anything they have the cutest packaging like of all time um she reached out to me her name is Olivia and she wanted to send me a few things to try and let you guys know about them and she was so sweet and sent a little bag for a giveaway for you guys so let me show you the things that she sent me and she sent like a ton of stuff for me to try so this is the moon over sedona shea body butter and I've been to Sedona, Arizona, and it is one of the most beautiful places in the world. So as you can see, super cute packaging, has a really nice like protective lid thing. And it's a very interesting scent. Like it's kind of a green note, which is like, I don't know, it just is very interesting. That's all I have to say so far about it. I just got these yesterday, so these are literally first impressions. I wanted to do the giveaway now so we can kind of test them out together, which I think will be really fun. So let me just read you a little bit about like the products. So she sent a this amazing thing talking about all the products that she sent me. And she said, all of our products are paraben free, paraffin free, no SLS, no gluten or soy fillers. We are proud to make our products in the USA and we don't test on animals. Everything is under $25 and if you buy five, you get the sixth item for free. So um, they also have a really cool reward program. So this is the first one that she sent me. Then she sent two um, holiday ones. Like just look at this packaging. Oh, how cute. So this is called Santa Cool Hip Vanilla Mint Big Bath Bar and it smells delicious. I don't really use bar soap, so I told my mom she could have this, but just to set this out, it is so cute. And then this, I'm so excited to try. This is the Big Fat Yummy Hand Cream in Snowed in Vanilla Mint. This says intoxicating clean scent. Just such cute packaging. And everything has like seals on it, so let's smell this. Oh my God, it smells like Twisted Peppermint from Bath and Body Works. Oh my God, that is gorgeous. I love that scent. And this is a giant hand cream. Like I thought this was a body butter, but this is a giant hand cream. And then she sent a little bag with a ton of samples and then two full size things that I'm super excited about. These are the Make Out Magic Lip Scrub and Sugared Grapefruit Lip Balm. So this little pod is a lip scrub. I used it yesterday as soon as I got it because I was like, what is this? And it doesn't have much of a scent to it, but it's just a really like fine sugar scrub for your lips. It was really nice. And she said you can like lick it off because it's just sugar. And then this lip balm that goes with it is really, really nice as well. It's like a pink color. So even if you're like putting this on midday, this gives a really like nice flush to your lips. So I really like these. These are the only two that I've tried. And then she sent a ton of packet samples of the body butters and other face products and then little um, little things like this to also try out. So I'll be trying these out and you'll see them in my empties or favorites videos and I'm just so excited. So thank you so much Olivia for sending me all this stuff. And then this little bag is for the giveaway. So all you have to do is be subscribed to me and then go to her Facebook page, which is facebook.com slash posh with Olivia. And I'll link it down below. And you just have to like it, like give it a thumbs up and then leave a comment like saying you're from my channel. And so she put a ton of stuff in here as well. You get a little, little snarky hand cream like a giant one like I got. This is cool. This is called Wisely Put All Mixed Up. And it's like a soak for your bath or you can use it as a, it's like a, what are those called? Like a scrub that you just add water to. 
This she sent me, but I'm not really going to use it. I didn't even open it. It's just a um, high shine lip gloss. So you'll get that. And then packets of samples as well. So one of you guys will win. So just be subscribed to me. Check out Olivia's Facebook. And then we can try these products out together, which I think would be really, really fun. So thank you so much, Olivia. That was so sweet of you to think of my subbies and to offer to send this stuff to me. So I cannot wait to try it. And I will report back on how I like everything. Okay, so that is all the stuff on my right side. Now, onto this freaking box. So, this has a lot of random stuff. Let's do the most random thing first. So, okay, there goes a necklace that I want to show you. Cards Against Humanity. If you guys have never played Cards Against Humanity, and if you're like a teenager or older, you have got to play this. So, I have played this for a bazillion times. I love this game. It is so funny but I've never owned it. I always have to ask my friends, like, be sure to bring over Cards Against Humanity when I have parties and stuff. And Caitlin actually got this for someone else, but then her friend, like, moved and never told anyone, so she gave it to me! <laughs> so it kind of worked out for me. I'm so, so excited. And there's, like, expansion packs and stuff. I just love this game, and I haven't even opened it yet. I'm just so excited. And I think we're gonna play one of our favorite things to do with Cards Against Humanity is not play it as it is, but do charades. So you get like one of the cards and then you have to act it out. It is hilarious. So love that. Thank you so much, Caitlin. And thank you to her friend that moved away and <laughs> didn't tell anyone. Okay, the necklace that fell in here. I just wanted to mention it because I love it. So I got this at Target. Target has some surprisingly amazing jewelry. And this necklace I just thought was so cool. And they're like, they move about. So it's not like a thing that's kind of stuck in one place. They move as you move. And so it's uh, black and gold little pieces with rhinestones on all of them. I love it. I think this was, I don't know, $15 or something. It's just really, really cool, and I love this piece. So definitely check out Target for jewelry. It's surprising the kind of stuff that they have sometimes. Okay, God, where to even begin? So Chloe sent me a surprise little box. I had gotten her Stila Patina liquid lipstick, which she has wanted for months, like six months or more. It's always been sold out. I saw it go in stock on Ulta, so I got it for her, and then she being the sweet stinker that she is, she sent me some stuff. So she got me these um, Tony Moly face masks. These are the tomato radiance masks. I still have it in this packaging. I literally was just like throwing stuff in this box to remember to show you, but it came with two. I don't know if she like bought two or if it just comes with two. I'm not sure, but each one has one in it. And I'm so excited to try these. I don't know if it'll smell like tomato or what the deal is, but it just seems really cool. So thank you for those, Chloe. Then she sent me this sample, which didn't work out for her, but I've always wanted to try the Laura Mercier Matte Matte Matt, Matt Radiance Baked Powder Highlight Number One. And it's just like a deluxe sample. And I've worn this a few times and I liked it, but I'm not sure if I love it. Like, I love how it looks on my hand. It is stunning on my hand, but I don't wear makeup on my hand. So I need to test this out some more, but I'm really excited to try it out. She has more tan skin than me, than me and she said this was a little too chalky, which is why she didn't keep it. But uh, I'll test this out some more and let you guys know how that goes. She also sent me this little Clinique Chubby Stick Shadow Tint for Eyes in Lots O Latte. And I've never tried one of these Clinique sticks, but this color is beautiful. It reminds me of Benefit Birthday Suit, which you guys know I love. And it's like a twist up, and it's a small enough size that I'll actually probably be able to use this up. So I'm so excited to try that. And then the main thing that she sent is one of my favorite products of all time and it is the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. And she saw that this was in my wish list video for the VIB sale and I didn't buy it so I'm so excited. So it's brand new of course and I just can't wait to try it. I had this a few years ago, loved it and I haven't had it since so I'm really excited. So thank you so much Chloe, you are just like so unbelievable honestly. 
Okay, I got two more Wayne Goss brushes. I know, I know. Um, these are the only other two that I was really interested in. I also, I originally got the number four. So I got the number six and the number eight. So this is the number six and this is the number eight. So I got the number six because I thought it would be like the MAC 217 and I love the MAC 217. I buy dupes for it all the time just seeing how they are because I know I'll use it. This is nice, but it's a lot thinner. It's so much less fluffy than the MAC 217 or any of the other dupes that I have for it, but it's a really, really nice shape. I like it, but I don't love it. It's very, very soft, of course, but I don't love it as much as I love this number eight brush. This is the most unique brush I've ever seen. I highly recommend getting this. If you can only buy one Wayne Goss brush or if you just want like one of it, like if you want something to buy that's not very expensive but that is awesome, get this. This is the smallest little brush ever and this is perfect like he has described for just pushing like powder or liner into your lashes to make it look like your lashes are thicker but without putting tons and tons of product. This is also awesome for tight lining, so like underneath your lashes. This is amazing. This is my favorite brush that I have from him. I only have three, but this I think is the most unique, the most amazing, and the most worth trying because it's just, I have never seen anything like this. So I love that. The quality of his brushes is undeniably amazing, but if you were to only get one, get the number eight. This is fantastic. Okay, I got this on eBay because I was so pissed off that Lush still is not bringing back Twilight Shower Gel. They have it in a set, but I don't use bath bombs or anything. I just want the shower gel. So I got this off of eBay because I was just so fed up, <laughs> and um, this is just the Twilight Shower Gel and it says that it was made in April of this year and it's good till next June. So I, this is like made in the UK. I had to like get it from another country to freaking get this stuff. So as you can see at the bottom, it like separates, it has like sparkle in it. So I don't know how to really incorporate it that well without like having to shake it every time. I had a bath bomb. I used to take baths like rarely, now I never do. But I had the Twilight Bath Bomb years ago, like my first year of college, and I loved the scent of it so, so much. So I always wanted a shower gel with it. Little did I know they actually did have one, but it was very hard to find because they never bring it out. So I got it on a whim, not because I needed it, but I really, really like it. I don't think it smells as good as the Bath Bomb as I remember it in like... You know how when you remember things, they're just so amazing and nothing will ever live up to how you remember them? That's like this. So um, I really do like it. I'm glad that I got it and try, like, I just got it out of my system and I'm happy about that, but I probably wouldn't, like, go crazy trying to get this. The other thing that I got at eBay, because I was being a crazy person, was the Nature by Canis Goat Milk Cream. So you guys know this is, like, my favorite moisturizer ever. Amazon like only has it for like 40 bucks it's, like crazy nowhere else has it in stock so I saw it on eBay and I bought it I didn't even read what it was I just saw it and I was like oh my god I'm buying it I got the night renewal cream which I never get the night renewal I always get the all natural daily facial cream so this is not the one that I love but it was only like $14 or something it's the same packaging God, I love this freaking brand, but it's much thicker than the other one. The other one is much, much thinner. Like this one you can hold upside down and it's not going anywhere. Same as the other one, no scent really. I used it once and it was nice, but like, I don't know, like literally, I think I'm mental sometimes. So I am happy that I have this, but I'm annoyed that I didn't pay enough attention to know what I was buying. Like that is very foolish. So I'm gonna enjoy this and use it, but I literally did not need another night moisturizer. So I don't know why, I don't know you guys. This is why I had to do my inventory. The only thing that I purchased after I showed you guys my Sephora friends and family sale haul, 
I went back and I got this at the store. This was sold out online, but I really, really wanted it. And this is the Sephora Favorite Skin Wonderland set. I ripped into it, so it's like disheveled. But it has an amazing variety of skincare products. Some I absolutely love and some I've really, really wanted to try. So this is $60. I had the 20% off friends and family and then I also had a store credit. So I only paid like 30 bucks for this, which is like an amazing deal. It just comes in a gold box like this that just opens and closes. When you get it, there's like that kind of what bunny <laughs> from Graver Graveyard Girl calls the worms, like all those little strings. It comes with that and, and everything's just kind of thrown in here. I took out some of the stuff that I was never going to use and I've already like given it away but these are the things that I was most excited about trying but there are like three or four more things that I already gave away from this set. So you get a little exfoliate by Kate Somerville. This is an awesome awesome product if you have really really stubborn like cystic acne or you just want a really good scrub to your face. This is chemical and physical exfoliants. It's awesome. It comes with the Shiseido Benefiance um, Express Smoothing Eye Mask. One of these, I've been wanting to try more eye masks, like just the little ones that go under your eyes. And it has a little picture of it. So I'm really, really excited to try this out. Sunday Riley Good Jeans. I had a little sample that only lasted me about three uses. So this, it looks very not full. It might be... I don't know but this smells like pee like literally it smells disgusting but I swear it was helping my skin but I just don't know it is like lactic acid is the main ingredient and it seems like my skin would like it but I just don't know if I can get over the smell so I'm excited to have a larger sample and see how that goes it comes with a really nice size of the Caudalie Divine Oil and it says you could use it on your hair, face, or body. I think I would only really use this on my body, maybe like on my chest and shoulders and just try that out, but I don't think I would use this on my face just because I have other things that I like more. It's just like an opening like that and I don't know, I'm excited to try that. I've heard a lot of people talk about that. A mini uh, L'Occitane hand cream, which is always nice. A Jurlique Rosewater Balancing Mist, and this is actually a glass bottle. It is like legit. So um, I've never tried anything from this brand, so I'm excited to see how that goes. This was one of the main things that made me so excited about this box. This is the Josie Marin Whipped Argan Oil in Vanilla Apricot. I have wanted this product, like to buy the full size, for ever like years but I never do because I already have so much stuff like so many body moisturizers and it's pretty expensive and it's natural so you don't want it to go bad and it will not let me get into it this like seal oh no I'm like stabbing it oh yeah I almost ate it I almost licked my finger that is disgusting oh my god it smells amazing I'm so excited to have this it makes me want to buy another one of these boxes because there's so many good things in here, but literally I can't. So that I'm excited about. Ole Henriksen Sheer Transformation Cream. You guys know I like this. It's not like the most amazing thing ever, but it's a nice basic moisturizer. Fresh Soy Face Cleanser, one of my absolute favorites. I have tons of small sizes of these, but it's awesome for traveling because I like it a lot. The First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. I love these small sizes as hand creams. I don't use this on my face. It's way too much for my face. But for a hand and a body moisturizer, this is fantastic. Then it comes with one of the Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Medi, Spiel, <laughs> Medi Spa Peel. So it has like a pad and then a solution. I've only used his like two pad type of thing, the alpha beta peels. So this is a little bit different than those. So I'm excited to see how this goes and to try that out. Then the last thing is super, super cool. It comes with an SK2 facial treatment mask. And you guys know how much SK2 is like that is so high end. So for it to come with this, it is really cool. So like I said, it came with more stuff than that. You can see everything that it comes with on here. 
and it's definitely a good deal either if you have never tried any of these products it's really fun to try it out or if you have used these products but you don't have them currently like in your collection or whatever this is just a really really fun set i would love to get this as a christmas present if i didn't already get it so definitely a good idea for any beauty lovers in your life but that was the only other thing I bought from the friends and family sale because I was trying to be very, very good. Then Ulta was having their sale, the 20% off sale. There was like a big conspiracy. Not everyone got a 20% off coupon. I somehow really lucked out and I got the 20% off of everything high end and just their normal line, like the normal drugstore stuff. So I got the things that I really wanted off of my wish list. So I got backups of my Jack Black lip balms, the natural mint and shea butter. I love these, you guys know. It's like one of my holy grail products. So I got a few of these and some for people as gifts. I saw Tara Babies had a haul and she showed this Essence 3D Shadow and Irresistible Choco Cupcake. And Essence has amazing makeup for the price. And when she swatched it, it was just like angels sang. So I wanted to try it. It was only like three bucks or something. And I thought it would be worth it. But yeah, look at that freaking pigment. And they're like metallic and gorgeous. I love this brown. It has like a reddish tone to it. Stunning. So worth the two or three or four dollars that it was. And then the 20% off. So really, really recommend this. It's gorgeous. Then I had these in my wish list for a while, and so I thought I would just try them out. These are the Eyelore Definition number 121 lashes, and they were on sale in addition to the 20% off, and they don't seem too long. Like, a lot of lashes, because I don't have a lot of space in between, like, my eyebrow and my, like, my eye. Um, they're too long, so they, like, go up to my eyebrow and I look like a drag queen. So these do not seem too long to me, so I'm really, really, really excited to try these, and I don't really play around with false lashes a lot. I am wearing individuals today because I just wanted to do it, but I typically don't do that. Then they were having, like, a gift with purchase, and I got, like, so much free stuff. It was crazy. The only thing that I really wanted to show you guys was this cargo eyeshadow in Columbia and I've never had anything by cargo but it's like a tin packaging and it's the deepest richest brown ever like it is crazy dark and it's just a matte this is so nice and to get this for free was amazing so always what I do is I have my cart ready at Ulta like with stuff that I know I'm gonna buy and I just wait until they have a good gift with purchase or promotion and then I buy it then that's like my trick at Ulta and then my most exciting thing that I got at Ulta was this Lorac matte satin blush in velvet rope I have wanted this for years and years and years so I am so excited I haven't even opened it since I got it this is like giant like this blush is really really huge I thought it would be smaller than that. Nice. And it is gorgeous. Oh my God. Don't want to do it on a finger that already has stuff. Oh my God. My Woodwick candle is like moaning right now. It's like so weird. Oh my God. That is truly beautiful. Oh my god, I am so excited. I've always wanted Exposed, but it's too like peachy orange for me. I don't really like it, but this is gorgeous. Oh my god, I am so excited about that. Okay, then I only have a few more things. This finally came from my Hot Look order from like earlier this month or like two, a month ago. I was waiting on this that was, I don't know why it took so long, but this is a Butter London nail polish in Indigo Punk. It is gorgeous. I might paint my nails with this because as you can see I need it but it is so beautiful it's like a blue purple like indigo hello that is what the color is called and it's just glitter oh my god it is stunning I love this you guys know I love butter London so I was really excited to get that and Hot Look had them for like seven bucks okay the very last stuff is what I got at Durham store when I told you guys they were doing that 30% off code so I got some stuff that I've been wanting for a really long time this is a brand 
Both of these are from brands that I've been wanting to try that I have never tried anything from before. This brand is called Farmhouse Fresh and it makes me think of the pickers, farm fresh, you know? And this is called Sunday Best Chocolate Softening Mask. Oh my God. And it says it's 98% natural. Oh my God, I have wanted this for so, so long. Just look at this packaging. It is so cute. It's a glass. It's like a mason jar kind of. Oh my God. I want to smell it. How the heck do you open this? Okay. Issues. There we go. That was so easy. Oh my God. Mm, it smells like chocolate pudding. It looks like chocolate pudding. Oh, I'm so excited about that. So this brand is not very expensive for a pretty much all natural brand. So I am very excited to try this. They have a bunch of other stuff that I want to try, but I'm just trying to be good. Then the last things that I have are from a brand that I have wanted to try for probably a year or a year and a half. And they are from Arcana. And I got two of their serums. The one that I have wanted for the longest amount of time is their Gentle Solution Repair Serum. And I haven't even opened these. Like I said, I just put them in this box until I could show you guys. Really, really nice packaging. It's just like plastic and then a pump. So nice, love pumps. And so this is supposed to be like, it helps to kind of slough away dead skin, give you beautiful, amazing skin by morning. And oh my god, I am so excited. Pores appear more refined, skin smooth, and clears and clear by decongesting microcomedones. I don't know what that is, but that sounds awesome. I want that. So they also have a normal solution. It's just called like the solution. And this one is the more gentle version. So I am so excited to try that. And then I've also really been wanting a hydrating serum and this is literally called hydrating serum so I thought that would be perfect and with the 30% off these were much more of a reasonable price so again same packaging with the pump and this is just going to be awesome it has hyaluronic acid which is such an awesome ingredient that I really wanted to get into so I'm super excited about these if derm store has another 30% off sale I really recommend just like going through all of their brands that's what I did me and Chloe we were like texting each other going through every single brand on their brand page and just seeing what they had because they have amazing brands I was seriously blown away by the amount and the variety of brands that they had so there was a ton of stuff in this Halloween Halloween haul <laughs> And I thought of that because my friend Zoe, my last haul was just called Beauty Haul. And she was like, what is wrong with you? You usually have the most amazing like haul names. So I was really trying to think and this just like, it was a light bulb and probably other people have done this title, but it just made me feel like a genius. So that is everything. This is everything for a while, I hope. And you guys know I'm really like into not wanting to buy more stuff right now. So I'm really, really happy that I kind of got this out of my system and now I am just focusing on enjoying all this amazing stuff that I have purchased recently and the stuff that I have had before. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you had a fantastic Halloween and don't forget to let me know what you were this year. Thank you guys and I will see you really soon. Bye!